the thing that, about Impulse for me that I found interesting was that it's like you have this guy and he just wants to do this one thing on his last day or last hour on Earth. And so it's really simple. Um, and as you follow him through this town, you see how other people react and how they flip out. They want to kill each other and they want to cry and they want to pray and they want to party and they want to play music. They're like all these things that, that people could possibly want to do. And so what I ended up kind of doing with that was having the character find a calm in that because there is no tomorrow. So what's that one thing that you want to do with your, with your final moment? And the cool thing about um, Impulse is that, as we were talking about earlier, there's not a lot of dialogue. There's not a lot said. You guys had to show the audience your idea, your communication. It's done in looks and it's done with your editing and your music and like your moves. And so that's really impressive. And that's kind of something that makes me interested in shorts in general is that you're you're giving a communication, you have this idea and you put it on paper and you're conveying it in a short amount of time so there's a challenge. But it's also kind of cool that you can get that full film experience um, as the viewer in like a fraction of the time that you would normally get it in. And action. When you read Impulse on the page, I'm sure like it was, you know, it, a certain vision came across to you, and then what did you think of it as when you like actually finally saw it? Was it completely different? Was it um, similar? Were the reading in liked? Yeah, in the final? The, on the page, um, there's there's just a lot left to the imagination. Um, like the story of what occurs is there, and the descriptions of things that I haven't seen, and you guys wrote them, so you know what they look like in your minds. But to me, it was just like. I just kind of imagine it in this way. Um, it was very similar, but at the same time, completely different than I had imagined because what ended up um, in the cut is is so big to me. Like the jets flying in the background and like the car drives and the birds fly out and the helicopter shadow and all this stuff that is making it feel like this huge production. and. And I think because they were done subtly, it just felt very, very real. The film starts out really fast. And there's like, you know, like the, with the whole car thing. Then really quickly, like the music and the timing and, and these shots of like different things in the car and like the whole, So it's really exciting off the bat. And then it kind of like, it continues to unwind and unwind and unwind with these little blips of like excitement. And then it ends in this like really kind of serene moment and then like smash. <laughs> and that's something I don't often experience in films, yeah. which is another thing that I guess is like worthy to bring up as a topic. Um, was that something you guys thought about in advance or is that what you found in the edit? You know, when Brian and I um, started off the project, it was like a 12 page script or something. And we were just like, oh, it's gonna roar straight through like start to finish. But right. as we started, you know, making our storyboards and, and trying to figure out how to properly tell the story from a directing standpoint, it just felt right to take our time with some of these like characters that are in the background and, and show how this whole community is kind of basically getting destroyed. Right. And one thing I would add to that, like I feel like uh, like the movie, like, like you do your best like as a director, I think, to kind of like control um, what the final thing is gonna be, you know, like you're always kind of like sculpting and trying to like make it fit your vision. But there's like a certain point where like the movie is what it kind of wants to be and mm -hmm. what it, it becomes what like everyone else is bringing to it, what the DP is bringing to it, what you're bringing to it, what the other actors are bringing to it, what the musician, uh, the, the composer is bringing to it. And, uh, you know, we can try to force it to be something, but I think ultimately like what you described is like, it's kind of like that's what it wanted to be at the end of the day. Right. Cut. What was your thought process when you were thinking about making this project? It wasn't really weird. Um, it's it's like that whole kind of cold calling thing, right? And I do like other businesses outside of acting and I have to do a lot of that myself in businesses that I'm not necessarily proven in. And I have like a ratio of like, you know, one out of 10, like I'm used to hearing no, 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 no. And then every so often, if you keep trying, you'll get someone who's interested in whatever your product is. So. 
On the flip side, I'm always super interested in what people are pitching me, even if they're not necessarily like proven yet. Um, so I didn't think it was weird at all, and I was just happy that like you know the product that was being pitched seemed really interesting to me. And then we had the meeting, and it was more interesting. And then we were shooting, and I was kind of like, oh, this is looking like really cool. Like I don't regret this at all. Oh, cool. um, cut to seeing it and not to blow smoke, but I was blown away. It's one of my favorite shorts that I've ever seen. It's so cool oh, and so big. Yeah, for sure. It's like really exciting. So that's kind of like, I guess this right now would be like the fullest circle possible. Why is, was Impulse like a story that you wanted to tell as an actor? Uh, there are a lot of reasons. Uh, I've always been a little bit fascinated with that kind of um, like last day on earth type of a vibe. And I've always been curious as to how, what my reaction would be. It also answered my question um, that I've always had to myself, which is like, how cool and fun would it be if the world sort of ended and everybody was gone? And I always have this thought of like, I would like get this an awesome car and I would drive around, I would like crash into and I'd get a gun, I'd just shoot at stuff. I'd just do all the stuff that you're not allowed to do, okay. which is kind of what we were doing there. And then it got really boring. And then I remember thinking like, this would really suck. Like it'd be fun for a day and a half to have everyone disappear off the planet. And then I'd be really lonely and like wishing I had friends to hang out with right, and wishing yeah. like there was some interaction. So that's finally answered. So thank you guys for that. <laughs> I appreciate it.